Hey you guys, so this is me recording from my car like most of us in the network marketing slash Arbonne world do. I don't know why, we always seem to be in our car because we're always on the move. But um, I didn't go Facebook Live with this yet because I'm too nervous that I was going to break down and cry and be a blubbering mess live, although I probably should because it's supposed to be more real and more vulnerable and I don't even really know what I'm going to say yet. Um, other than the fact that this has been a really, really, really hard year. 2018 ended my marriage. For those of you that don't know, most know, close people know, not everyone. Ended my marriage of eight, nine years. I don't really remember. Eight years, but a 12 year relationship. Um, was included in me moving three little kids at the time they were four and two out of the house the only house that they had known um, into a, a nice little house that we have which we love and um, going through the process of moving and 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 the drama that that goes with with little kids and the drama that goes with um, a separation and pain and anger on all parts and and fear and rejection and unknowns that you wouldn't even believe and fathom and and fear that you're not doing the right thing that you're not taking care of your kids that you're doing the wrong thing for your children um, but also knowing that you are doing the right thing for your kids and this is what you have to do for you and the kids um, not that he's a bad dad to his kids it's just it wasn't the right relationship for us and our family um, he loves his kids very much. That's not that's never been a question. So um, don't ever think that. Um, but that process took a lot out of me um, prior to, or actually in the midst of all of that happening. Um, my 15-year career with Merck ended, and so I was faced with what to do with my life, and um, started a personal business. Um, basically a franchise of weight loss centers that I have started and am struggling to maintain because the business is um, very new. I was the first franchise, I guess is the word, it's not even the word because that wasn't what I was at the time, out from the parent location and had, you know, minimal support at best and literally no experience in doing what I was doing other than the fact that I had had our bond before and so I knew how to work for myself and yet at the same point um, really just wanted to spend more and more quality time with my kids so I was feeling pulled in different directions and 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 never gave anything a hundred percent other than my children um, and even still then I still feel like I fell short I didn't intend to it's just the nature of of all of the places that you're supposed to be um, so I lost that job I lost some promotions with Arbonne and those of you know that I do Arbonne um, my business also fell apart um, in that regard uh, I didn't take the time to grow it and maintain it um, it was no one's fault but my own there was absolutely no one else to blame but me. Um, that's hard. Uh, I started it, gosh, how long ago now? Six years ago? I'm still I'm still committed to it. I'm still, I can't walk away from Arbon because I love the company so much and I love the business so much and I have so much proof that it works. Um, I just have the the lack of proof within myself that I can do it. But I don't have that lack of proof. I do have it in me, and I know I do. Sorry, see, this is why I should have gone Facebook Live. There are tears streaming down my face. Um, so, but I'm not doing anyone a dessert. I'm not doing anyone in this world anything any good by just sitting on Arbonne and just selling some protein powder every so often and lipstick and maybe posting up something that's kind of positive. I'm withholding 
dreams back from other people that are sitting in the same position that I am. I'm withholding my own dreams by not utilizing a business that has been given to me that is so simple and so easy and yet hard. <laughs> we make it hard. We shouldn't. We just do. We... Ugh. It's because we are human. It's mainly why. Because <laughs> we get too much in our heads. Um, and we worry about what other people think. But at the same point, I don't worry about what other people think. So I wouldn't have done half of what I just did this year. I wouldn't have, you know, 2018 was so hard. I wouldn't have done half of what I did if I actually thought of what other people cared about me. Um, what was important. It was what was important to me and my kids. And what's important to me and my kids now is to take control of my life in a financial perspective in a growth perspective and look to our future and build it. Um, and to build it with Arbon is, is the way that I know that it's always been meant to grow. It's just, I've been stuck for a while. And, um, of course you, you really even paid attention. I kind of broke my leg in December. So I got just like, Oh my gosh, there just cannot be one more thing. This, that was an 18. Luckily it's, it's healing in 19. So 19 should be better. Um, it should be. It really, it really should be. Um, it will be because I'm gonna make it be better. Um, but that being said, like I said, Arbon is my vehicle to do that. But I can't, I can't do it alone by just not talking about it and by not telling people what a great opportunity this could be for them too. My sister earned her free white Mercedes Benz. So she drives a free white Mercedes Benz in Kansas. I mean, who wouldn't want that? I mean, that's right there is a great gig. And her paychecks are anywhere from five to eight thousand dollars a month. In in a few short months that she went from being a, a, a an area to now, the paycheck was an increase that's exponential and who couldn't benefit from that? I mean, a thousand dollars a month can change people's lives, but could five thousand dollars change people's lives? And by me not sharing that and letting people know that there's an opportunity, and it is not an opportunity where you have to go door to door and push product that isn't important that people don't like. It's an opportunity where you can sit on your phone and you can call people, you can text people, you can message people, you can use whatever social media aspect you want within the legal ramifications. Um, and you don't have to be, you know, throwing parties that everyone kind of used to have to have to do back the, in the day. There's so many more methods to reaching people that, um, you know, it makes more sense now, I think, to people. Um, the hardest part, I think, for some people is, you know, I can't, I don't have time to do events or parties or things like that. Well, you know what? You don't have to do that anymore. So... Who, who wouldn't want to just think about it and, and benefit from products that, one, are, are so globally sensitive to what's going on in the world right now as far as being gluten-free, soy-free, non-GMO, you know, no parabens, no phosphates, no phthalates, whatever is the buzzword of the day, Arbonne has. And they're, not only are they like really healthy products, but they're amazingly good products. I won't do anything. I will not use any other makeup. I will not use any other skincare and I will not use any other hair care. It's just not happening because I just think that they have the best on the market. And I know people that go to Walmart and get their shampoo, but those products have tons of chemicals and different things in them and it's not going to serve you in the long run. And, and yet the products that we have are just so much more highly concentrated and so much more worth their dime either you spend your money on Starbucks or you spend your money on a fizzy it's kind of you know everyone has a place where they can spend their money and a, and a place that's important to them and you pick where it's important to you at the time you know is your body wash important to you is your makeup important to you is your protein shake important to you is your coffee important to you we all have places where we spend our money that's important to us and when you want to take care of your body and you want to take care of yourself then you find places to make that happen. Plus, when you start making a great income and getting the most amazing discounts and benefits from Arbon, you just transition your spending from 
Walmart or Walgreens or the Macy's counter to your own business. I mean, why wouldn't you do that? That that alone just makes sense. You know, if I had a business, I'm gonna buy my own products for myself. I'm not gonna go to Walmart and go buy shampoo because I have shampoo that I can buy from my product in my store and I know that it's going back into my business and into me, not into Walmart, not into Walgreens. What have they benefited from? I mean, what does that CEO make a year? Well, he's not paying my bills, let me tell you that. So I think those are the things in the conversations that I haven't had with people and that I haven't said to people. I've always talked to small about this business and small about these products, but in the long run, I shouldn't have. Um, I should have been more upfront and real and told you the whole story uh, and not just been a cheerleader for a company that you don't know anything about. Um, so all that being said, it's been a rough day in reevaluating kind of my life and where it's gone and where it's going. And January was a good month, <clears throat> excuse me, a good fun month for fun, but not a good business month. And, and then waking up on February 1st and seeing a ton of promotions and a ton of people that are moving and shaking within my direct downline organization. Um, I need to step up and rise up to that level. So it's time. So we'll see. No, we won't see. You will see. It will happen. And um, you will see a lot more of me and this. And if you get annoyed, I'm sorry. You aren't paying my bills. You're not taking care of my children. And you're not washing my hair. <laughs> So, um, you can, you know, unfollow me if you want, and if I bug you, it's not because I'm trying to make a buck, it's because I'm trying to help, and it's because I know that everyone can use at some point some help somewhere along the way. We don't all have it together. We don't all have it perfect, our health, our makeup, our shampoo, our business, our lives, our money, our future. It could be, it may not even be today. Today you may be making plenty of money, but in six months your husband could lose his job or somebody could break their leg, <laughs> you know, and you could be out of work for six weeks. Um, something totally unplanned or your kids may need to go to college or somebody may need braces. I don't know what it may be, but plan for that future. And so if I message you or say something to you or, or you hear something you don't like, I'm sorry. <laughs> I love you. I love you all. I love my entire network. And I really, truly only want the best for you and me. And you all deserve it. And I deserve it. So that's my soapbox. And I'm kind of glad I didn't go live. But hopefully I will post this and get the guts to do it. And it will look okay. And people will watch it. If not, I may... You'll see me go live. I'll, I'll be vulnerable and um, open and honest. So, thank you for the time, and bye.